Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to triple boot Windows, Ubuntu and Kali Linux. So let's get started. First you have to download the Win32 disk major. Just follow the links I have given. Download it. Then download the Rufus. Afterwards, download the iOS image of Ubuntu. Just select the appropriate version. Here I am downloading LTS version. Then we have to download the Kali Linux. Download Kali Linux. Okay. Uh, I find the Kali Linux 64 bit as a stable version, so I am downloading it. Now click on the Rufus and select the Ubuntu image. Start. Yes. Right, I have image mode. Yes, okay, okay. Now open Win32 disk major. We will use this app for the uh, making Kali Linux bootable. So just select the Kali Linux image and select your second pen drive. Okay, my eye is for the Ubuntu and H device is for the Kali Linux, so just write it. Yes, continue. Okay, I'm simultaneously uh, formatting both the devices and making the bootable. Okay, both have done successfully. Close it. Now we have to make sure we have uh, unallocated space available in our PC so right click on here and select the disk management yes left click on it and click on the shrink volume now here I am giving 51012 yeah, this will add a uh, 49.82 GB. Yeah, unallocated space. That's what we want. Okay, let's close it. Restart. Now select the boot menu and select your USB pen drive. Here first I am inserting Ubuntu pen drive. Now click on the install Ubuntu and select the language and then continue. I don't have want to connect Wi-Fi, continue. Normal installation, continue. Okay, so we want to clear click on this something else here. So just continue on clicking that. And now here you can see our free space is showing here. So just click the plus sign and give the about 400 MB for our boot partition. Let's type it 400. Okay. It is logical and bringing on this space and mount point is our boot then okay
yeah it is added and again click on the free space then again plus sign then give the size about uh, one two one three one okay and mount point should be our root so just click on the slash select the slash okay yeah it is added then again go to the free space then click on the plus sign and here I am adding the 5000 MB space then select the end of the space here okay and then use as a swap area okay this will create our swap area now okay it is added now again click on the free space then plus sign thank you 23688mb then select end of the space and then mount point as a home click ok ok now here we have to select the uh, boot driver here so let's be clear here so I am selecting SDF file because my boot is in the SDF SDF file drive okay now click on the install continue now select the country continue and give you your name and password continue now I'm skipping this video insert your Kalinux pen drive okay now on the restart now and select your bootable Kalinux pen drive boot menu USB pen drive now click on the graphical installation select language English select your location configuration yes select WLAN 0 here you can select anything and then continue ok select your Wi-Fi give the password and then click on the continue Here guys the whole processor will take uh, longer time here I am just for fast forwarding it now give the host name and type in Kali continue domain name as well Kali give the root password and remember this
select the configure kit lock okay now do this part very carefully select the manual and here you can say see the our free space is still there so just click on it create a new partition give the size note this we are creating for the slash so mount point is as a slash okay then then this setting partition now select your home partition that we created in ubuntu and use as a ext4 and then select the mount point as a home home directories and then done setting up the partition and again swap area okay it is selected already okay finish the partition and write the changes yes continue here i'm just skipping the installation part yes you can give anything or leave it a blank continue yes grub bootloader that's we want and select your hard disk sda stab is our pen drive so select the sta and continue yes done here you can see kali linux windows 10 and ubuntu is here so guys don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching